Hello, my name is Dave Wachowski, and I represent the Seedex brand of sugar beet seed for both the Michigan and Ontario growing regions. I'd like to thank everyone for taking just a few minutes as I review our product portfolio, meaning varieties, treatments, and packaging options we'll have for the 2022 growing season. We'll start with CDEX 1264 and 2283. I have combined these two varieties on one slide as most growers are familiar with their traits and performance. 1264 is not in the Michigan sugar variety trials in 2021, so we can make room for new and exciting varieties uh, coming down the line. However, I feel that the yield, traits, and performance of CDEX 1264 and CDEX 2283 are similar and consistent enough that we can combine them on this slide and it would provide a good reference to growers as they try to think back through variety selection for this upcoming season. CDEX 2283 is on the Michigan sugar list, so therefore that can be looked up um, and referenced. If you have any additional questions, you can certainly contact our dealers. We have lots of good high quality seed available of both of these varieties. One of the first new varieties we have is CDEX 2294. I'll begin to describe that variety as it compares to other CDEX varieties we are more familiar with and have used in the past. CDEX 1264 is probably the most similar to the varieties we've offered in the past with the exception of increased yield, increased RWST or sugar per ton, and increased Cercospora and Rhizoc tolerance. CDEX 2294 was in the sugar beet advancement trials and was one of the high RWST varieties on their summary and performed very well in the Michigan sugar trials average of two years. CDEX 2295 is another new variety offered by CDEX for this coming growing season. Again, another high sugar per ton variety and what makes this variety different than CDEX 2294 is a significant improvement in Rhizoc tolerance. When you look at the chart, it is 10 percentage points higher or a uh, better advantage in Rhizoc tolerance as compared to CDEX 2294. This variety maintained good Cercospora and overall yield while uh, taking that big step forward in Rhizoc tolerance. CDEX 2297 takes that Rhizoc tolerance yet another step farther in nearly four to 5% increased tolerance. This variety is the number three variety in RWST. So a real high sugar variety with an excellent level of Cercospora tolerance or a good plus according to the Michigan sugar rating, good Cercospora and still good overall performance. This variety, in the absence of disease, might look like it's lacking on a ton or two. So it, it, I would not call it a racehorse variety. But again, you put it in conditions where there's disease pressure and you challenge this variety, I believe it'll maintain its performance and be uh, give satisfactory results at the end of the growing season. CDEX 2201 is a brand new offering for this uh, coming growing season. What makes CDEX 2201 different than the other varieties is a strong level of Cercospora tolerance. I kind of put 2201 in the first group outside of the CR plus variety. It, it is not a CR plus uh, Cercospora tolerant variety, but it is in the next group of varieties as far as Cercospora tolerance while maintaining good Rhizoc and good yield, excellent RWST. CDEX 1278N is a nematode variety that many growers that need to utilize nematodes are probably uh, familiar with. Performed exceptionally well in the sugar beet advancement trials in 2020. This is a high yielding, high sugar variety um, that does require management. If anything, it, I recommend Quadris, and I recommend an uh, aggressive Cercospora program. 
spray program. Fortunately, we have a, another new variety, CDEX 2296N. This is a new fully approved variety that was in both Michigan and Sugar Beet Advancement trials this year. This variety was the number three variety overall in the Michigan Sugar trial average of two years. It was a high sugar variety in the Sugar Beet Advancement, sugar per ton, and it was very competitive in overall yield. CX 2296N has a good or average level of Rhizoc 20 tolerance, good level of Circosper tolerance, and is just an excellent performer overall. To recap uh, slightly, CDEX has six of the top 10 RWST varieties. A couple of years ago, Michigan Sugar set out and challenged uh, growers and breeders to provide varieties that could achieve the 3300 goal. That's 30 tons per acre and 300 pounds RWST. As a company, uh, CDEX is providing more varieties consist consistently to achieve that 300 pounds RWST than any other company. 50% of the varieties on the Michigan Sugar High Quality Variety page in the variety book that is being mailed are CDEX varieties. So to be able to maintain that many high quality varieties, meaning you got good disease traits, high RWST, and maintaining good yield is a clear indication that the breeders have done their homework and are rising to the challenge to, to provide varieties that are required in Michigan and Ontario. CDEX 2294 and 2296N were both uh, high on RWST in the trials this year and very competitive overall. What's going to be new for this coming season? For the most part, it's going to be in our seed treatment packages. What we'll do, we used to refer to our fungicide package as TriPack. Now we will be using Intego instead of Tachigarin and Zaltera as our fungicide, which instead of Metlock, Rhizolex, and Vibrance. We're making these two changes for a couple of reasons. Both these products pro provide us the same level of coverage we're used to, but the Intego does not have the phytotoxic effect on the seed, which we believe will increase our speed of emergence, as well as Altera, removing the Metlock from our fungicide package, which in the past we believe has sold, slowed our emergence slightly. Some growers have asked, well, if you knew that it was going to slow down your emergence, why did you use it? Simply because in every trial we've ever done, including these products, at the end of the season, provided higher yield and higher sugar results. They provided the protection at the seedling stage, the, the beets needed uh, to survive and, and to make it to the end of the year and achieve a high yield. Using these Zaltera and Intego, we believe we are going to gain a day or two on emergence. And as referenced in the Michigan Sugar and Sugar Beet Advancement data, CDEX tended to be a little slower, but at the end of the year had a strong final stand. We believe this is just going to increase our early emergence counts and get us off to a strong and better start. One additional change on the Michigan side is the changing to Cruiser Max insecticide. In the past, we've been using Nipset. Uh, in Terio, we've been using Cruiser due to that, because that's what the label allows. So due to the number of units in both markets, we've decided it makes more sense to just use the same product in both regions and switch to Cruiser Max. Cruiser Max is used by other companies and anyone that's probably ever grown a dry bean or maybe even a soybean has probably had Cruiser Max on their seat. So we believe there's no risk there and is not a big deal, but we just wanna make growers aware of the change. Our bucket options are gonna stay the same and our max container or our bulk boxes will also remain the same. If you have questions about quantities put in the max containers, please contact your local dealer as they can tell you what full boxes contain as well as custom fill options uh, to match fields or the required amount of seed you might need on your farm. 
To recap, CDEX varieties provide high sugar. Our entire portfolio is had in this past season was 256 plus pounds. We are the closest to attaining the 3,300 Michigan sugar production goal through our WST. More specifically to our varieties, CDEX 12, six, uh, CDEX 2294 is improved Circospora. 2295 is improved Rise Octonia. 2297 is even a step more uh, tolerant to Rise Octonia as well as a strong RWST. 2201 is improved Circospora tolerance. And CDEX 2296N being in the nematode uh, regions has improved yield and overall disease traits as compared to our previous nematode options from CDEX. We have a lot of good dealers to answer any questions you might have. Bruce Albasta near Saginaw, Co-op Elevator in the Thumb, Farmers Co-op in Kindy, Lakeside Grain and Feed in Ontario, Gaps near Ithaca, Matt Gordon in Croswell, Tom and Rudy Schlatter in Bay City, and Star of the West Milling in both Rapson and Richville. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for taking just a few minutes uh, to go through the varieties and products we have to offer for 2022. If you have any questions at all, please refer back to that dealer list I showed you or myself, and we'd be excited to help you uh, in any way we can. Have a good holiday, and uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>